Hello and welcome everyone to the Gold and Silver Club end of week commodities review for the 8th of May 2015 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So today during the session we will be reviewing the latest developments in the commodity markets. We'll be analysing the week's performance. During the live session we will be covering an overview of the commodity markets. Top trades of the week will cover live market commentary and technical analysis and of course we'll be answering any questions you may have as well. So before we get started, we will just uh, quickly go through some of the introduction. So first of all, let me just introduce you to the Gold and Silver Club. The Gold and Silver Club is an international commodities trading research and advisory group specializing in the precious metals, energies and agricultural markets. We are recognized as a leading go-to authority on commodities and as internationally respected experts, our analysis and opinions on the metals, the energy and agricultural markets are routinely sought by major financial television channels, publications including Bloomberg, Reuters, CNN, Global Banking and Finance Review and the Wall Street Journal to name a few. Our team of experts has advised and taught technical analysis, fundamental research and portfolio management to more than 50,000 private and institutional clients worldwide. So for further information on the Gold and Silver Club and our expertise, please do hop across to www.thegoldensilverclub.com. So first of all, we'll just take a look at the gold price at the moment. We're currently trading at 1,185 US dollars per ounce. Now, we do have the non-farm payroll this afternoon. So we've got the non-farm payroll, which uh, will be delivered in approximately two and a half hours time. So we'll definitely be looking at uh, some pre-analysis, technical analysis prior to the non-farm payroll, key levels which we can really look uh, for potential um, opportunities here as we come into the US session this afternoon. Before we do so, I'll cover the top trades of the week using the Gold and Silver Club signature trading strategy. So first of all, we've had uh, some lovely follow-through trades this week from uh, last week's set up. So Brent crude oil came and hit our profit target uh, just on Monday this week. That was a trade entered the previous week. We came uh, up all the way to our target of 350 points. Uh, you can see very clearly here, really nice breakout, solid follow through. So that was a lovely trade that we've not closed. Uh, gold, we had a really good sell short opportunity just last week on Thursday and Friday. Following on from the FOMC statement, we broke down for a sell and at 220 points profit on the setup and also uh, WTI crude oil as well, which broke out just last week on the FOMC statement. We came and hit our profit target just early morning on Wednesday. So that was a 330 point return. So we've had some uh, lovely setups over the last week. Oil has been great. Uh, we've had some good weakness overall in uh, platinum and gold and silver over the last week. And uh, what we'll do next, we'll just take a look at the potential um, setups as we come into the non-farm payroll this afternoon. So I'm just going to move you across to my technical charts here. Uh, the first market we can have a look at uh, is going to be silver, in fact, because silver at the moment, if you go out and we have a look at the much larger time frame for silver, you can see ultimately silver is still within a very strong downward trend at the moment. Uh, it's quite clear on the much larger time frames here, the overall downward trend silver is in. Typically, also, as we come into mid-May here, um, also into June, it tends to be a very weak time of year for the precious metals. We did a um, interview just yesterday with uh, Swiss Television, which you can actually have a look. Uh, for those of you who are on newsletter, you'll get that um, at the weekend, and I'll talk you through that towards the end of the webinar, how you can subscribe. But uh, we talk through um, the gold prices, what we expect over the next quarter. And essentially what you need to know is typically uh, we do see weakness from mid-May onwards in silver, particularly June. It tends to be one of the weakest months of the year for silver. So any rallies today, even from the non-farm payroll, we'll be looking potentially for next week to get in um, to sell into any rallies here. So we'll be looking for any breakouts towards the upside, potentially coming back up to the upper end of this trend channel, but then looking for rejection. On the other hand, if we do see silver just break down this afternoon, that will offer, offer here some opportunities to get in for a sell short. You can actually see just on the short term here, silver is developing a, a pennant formation. So what we may do is get an opportunity to trade this breakout today. So we'll definitely be looking at the uh, some explosive moves on non-farm payroll this afternoon, and we'll be looking for the opportunity to trade 
any breakouts here on silver. So silver for me is definitely one of the top markets you want to watch this afternoon. Uh, if we move over to other markets such as platinum, platinum is just following a very strong trend channel at the moment. You've got a downward uh, trending channel here. You're getting resistance towards the upper end of this channel. And uh, each time we're coming up and retesting it, you're getting very clear rejection candles. We're about midway between um, the support supportive end of this channel and also the resistance. So uh, to be decided really on non-farm payrolls this afternoon, but you can see here quite clearly that it wouldn't take much to really take out the legs of the last week's worth of support here, uh, which would just break through 11.25 and then start to see more downside here. So Platinum, if you've already got a sell short on Platinum, might be looking potentially for more weakness here this afternoon. Uh, also, if we look at uh, Palladium, Palladium's been interesting this week. It has finally broken out of uh, we've got a big v-shaped reversal pattern it's following quite a nice trend at the moment it's building up some momentum to the upside uh, palladium has been much more volatile on F on the non-farm payroll announcements in 2015 prior to that last year it wasn't as volatile i do expect more volatility today i would like to see whether we are going to get a break above the weekly highs here you can see that on my chart sitting around the 797 level uh, so if we do get a break above these levels we may well start to clear uh, particularly if we close above those levels start to clear this resistance and build up um, towards uh, really going back up towards the February highs here but we'll, we'll keep an eye on palladium today um, again we've had quite a few false breakouts on palladium so I don't see it as a top but potentially if it can break and close um, with strong momentum to the upside today I will be looking for more follow through as we go into next week Copper for me, also one to watch as well. We're, we're sitting right at the upper end of the trend channel. Now, copper's been really volatile and really lucrative on recent uh, announcements over the last year, FOMC statements, non-farm payroll statements. And uh, you can see it's just building up a nice base, moving so well between its uh, channels at the moment. You can see there's a resistance channel, which has become support, a previous resistance channel where the market is just consolidating at the moment. So very technical uh, trading at the moment on uh, copper here. We're looking at uh, the potential either for a breakout trade so if we go to breakout of this trend channel we can take advantage of that on the non-farm payroll or a breakdown in price from this channel we should also get a significant pullback we may even come as far as the lower end of the channel here so copper for me is definitely going to be one that you want to keep an eye on today again we've got a very clear consolidation zone you've got a nice channel resistance channel here a break of the low of that is bound to trigger some stop losses and a break above the highs here is bound to trigger pending orders and buy orders as well so i think copper will be a top set up or top market for us to watch this afternoon on the non-farm payrolls uh, moving over to gold gold actually isn't giving us the best um, price structure in the moment for nfp here you can see where we've got some um, some support here to take take out on the nfp which could turn out to be quite lucrative if we can take out last week's lows here we may see a good follow through and start to really uh, test the lower end of um, this channel which would really be taking us towards the four-year lows here for gold we've also got an overhead resistance channel here where we may see a potential breakout to the upside but it could be that we have limited um we have a limited breakout to the upside here just comes up to the upper end of the channel and finds resistance so any major breakouts to the upside on gold i'm going to be looking for overall weakness as we come into mid-may so i'll be looking for this whole resistance channel as a potential sell zone uh, so for the time being, if we break lower, that would be my preferred trade here. Um, for the time being, as we stay in this consolidation zone, I think uh, I'll be paying more attention to potentially uh, silver and copper here as we go into the NFP session today. But gold will be one to watch. It's always a big mover on non-farm payroll, but I just think it's right in the middle of its uh, resistance and support zones. I would either prefer to take a trade from the resistance zone or from the support zone. Uh, if we go over to the US dollar index, uh, has found a little bit of support today. We broke through a major trend channel uh, just last week. You can see we highlighted that last week. We did get a break below that. Overall, it's looking quite weak for the US dollar. This will, again, be a big mover on non-farm payroll today. If we see a lot of strength in the US dollar, that is bound to provide some um, weakness here for uh, the metals. But if we see the US dollar continue to break down today, particularly taking out the weekly lows, that will be supportive for the precious metals. And then we can look for potential breakout trades there. So definitely we want to uh, be watching the US dollar this afternoon. Uh, if we just move over to the other uh, agricultural markets at the moment, the other commodities. Uh, ultimately, we've got a, a nice um, channel at the moment forming on both corn and wheat. So if you look at corn at the moment, we are you can see this wedge which is starting to form 
Um, we're looking for ultimately in the short term more downside for both uh, wheat and corn as they continue to break down. They've taken out some major support zones just on the left of the chart and they're consolidating a little bit. Price, price action is getting tighter here, but ultimately looking for a, uh, a breakdown in price here for corn and very similar situation to wheat. So wheat has also uh, got a wedge forming here and we're looking for uh, more downside really over the coming weeks as we go into mid-May, but not too much movement over this week. So we're anticipating potentially more weakness as we come into next week here as well so you can see where we are starting to break down uh, so that's what i'm looking at on the agricultural markets uh, they won't move they're unlikely to move as much as the other precious metals and energies on non-farm payroll they'll also be closed for um from 145 onwards today so gmt just for a the best part of 45 minutes, so they won't get too much action on non-farm payroll. Uh, then we'll just move over to the energy. So we've, we've closed out of our positions here on WTI and Brent. Uh, we had some nice breakout trades last week. You can see we came all the way towards our profit targets, the upper end of this uh, channel. Uh, we've now actually, we're finding support. This is quite common when you get a staircase pattern where you get consolidation, breakout to the upside, consolidation, breakout to the upside. So it looks like previous resistance may be becoming support here on WTI crude oil. So we continue to watch that and monitor that you see this big rejection candle indicated that some um, traders were taking profit they've taken uh light sweet crude oil back towards its support zone here or previous resistance it's getting some rejection here so i'd like to see whether that will get supported over the course of today we can also add a little bit of a trend channel at this level as well which is starting to form which uh we'll see if we can get a parallel channel out of it but there you go there's the channel i think we may actually be able to get there we go yeah you can see that channel starting to form on WTI over uh, the last few sessions. So that's looking like we may actually rotate back towards the upside. I'd like to see how this candle fully forms on the daily today and potentially take a rotation back towards the upper end of the channel next week. Uh, very similar, actually, for Brent crude oil, which we've taken our profits on here as well. Uh, so let's just draw in these channels, shall we? Let's have a look. We're getting some rejection. Previous resistance is becoming support. We'll just add the resistance channel. There you go. Nice parallel channel. So uh, we may well find we get rejection around this zone. It provides another buy opportunity. So I'll see how the oils move this afternoon. They do tend to be big movers also on the non-farm payrolls. Uh, we've got quite a lot to look at today and um, yeah, it should be exciting. There should be some good lucrative trading opportunities uh, for all of us today. Uh, that's really it in terms of the, the main um, market summary today for the precious metals, uh, also for agriculture and for the energies here. Uh, so you definitely want to get prepared for that this afternoon. Uh, so uh, non-farm payroll will be in two hours and uh, 15 minutes, okay? And that is likely to be explosive for the markets. Those are the top trades that we, the top setups that we will be looking at just this afternoon. Okay, perfect. So uh, a couple of questions there, just regarding, um, yeah, actually trading the non-farm payroll with the Gold and Silver Club. You can actually join us uh, for trading the non-farm payroll and also our live trading room sessions that we have throughout the week. Very simply to do that, all you want to do is go to www.jointhegoldensilverclub.com. Enrollment is by application only, so very simply complete the enrollment form and uh, we'll get in touch with you ASAP. And you can just go to, um, again, it's just, uh, let me just post it there so you've all got availability to that. OK, so it's very simply. This is the page that you get. It takes less than a minute to for, fill out www.jointhegoldensilverclub.com. OK, perfect. So once that's been filled out, we'll get in touch with you ASAP. And for those of you who would like to join us for our live trading room sessions and trading the news, uh, we look forward to welcoming you to the Golden Silver Club. OK, guys, so have um, a great weekend. Good trading for this afternoon. And uh, we look forward to hear from those of you who would like to join us for our live trading room sessions. And uh, for everybody else, we'll definitely see you on the next one. OK, take care, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.